Okay. Well, welcome to another video. Here we go. Here we go. You know, this is chapter three. Wow. <laughs> so we're headed to get a little bit to eat, and we're going to go explore a uh, another Midtown home. This one was built about 40 years later than the last one we did, which was 1898. So from my research, it, this one was uh, built in 1838, but the owner thinks it's a few years older than that. So let's go with the old one. But Let's go with the old one. It's kind of a small yard, um, so we don't think it's going to take long. So this may uh, be a part one of a, of two today, and we'll just splice them together. But uh, where else do you think we might go? Oh, we may if if we can hit some of my little places out there, my little church or or whatever you want to. Do. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. We Hopefully. may just we may hit just like a big. Yeah, we, of may, silver coins we may today. just do some <laughs> dive and dash deals. And hopefully we don't uh, break a shovel on this ground that's so hot. And, yeah. you know, the ground's so hot. Oh, yeah. We can't have uh, We're still in Memphis, Tennessee. And you know, we did a Cooper Young area. Uh, now we're going to do uh, you know, a Midtown home, which is still kind of Midtownish. But um, it is stinking hot in Memphis. We have not had any rain. So the ground is hard as a rock. So we won't dig as many targets maybe as we normally would have, but uh, so we're hoping for some rain. So what do you want to eat? Uh, just grab something light, wherever you want to go. Something real fattening? Yeah, something real fattening. It's going to burn off, I'm, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, well here we are. Uh, we're at our Midtown home, built in, uh, we're, we're here and it's 1930, somewhere from 30 to 32 maybe. Uh, we've got this front yard and a backyard, a little side strip uh, down the house. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, we're excited to see what we can find. Um, so I guess we're ready to go. David, let's start swinging. Let's start pinging. <laughs> All righty, what you got there? Looks like an old key. It's an old key. What's it made of? Probably brass. It rang up like uh, brass, like a like a penny. Cool. How deep? It, it wasn't very deep at all. It, okay. Uh, a little plug underneath. Okay. There. Well, let's see what. Uh, maybe we'll get a shot of it later with a cleanup. All right. Okay, I'm on the board on the board with this not silver dime don't know what year it is we'll show you later okay not sure what this little thing is I just pulled it up looks like maybe the uh, maybe it's a little hub cap off a car or something I don't know we'll show you a cleaned up version of that and see if we can figure out what it is I don't know what this was, but it sure gave a pretty signal. Look at this thing. It's like a, uh, I don't know. It's a ring. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Not sure what that was. But here's what it looked like when I cleaned it up. What you got there in that huge plug? It's something. It's something, he promises. It's... There's a piece of glass in the bottom. Look at this thing I dug a while ago. What do you think that is? Uh, it looks like a... It's a ring. Yeah. It's a rusty ring. It could be part of a... Door knocker? <laughs> it could be or a horse tack. That's what Seriously, I was thinking. 1800. There's your coin right there. What? It could be. Gosh. It's still wanting to... It didn't pick up good. I mean, it... there's no telling. 
Yeah, I kind of took a chance on this one. That roundness, I think, fools you. It rang up as a good tone, kind of deep, so I wasn't sure, but wanted to dig it. I'm still in coin mode, so I might should switch to, I might bump up to jewelry and throw a few more things in the mix. Mm -hmm. well, something dropped there. <laughs> you don't have your rings on, do you? There it is. It's a coveted little tiny cap. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's a little a tiny soldier's hat. <laughs> okay. David thinks he's got something. I think it's you a get? wheel to an old toy, man. It's brass. It's really oh, heavy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that could be part of a... What am I thinking? I can't think of what it would be that would use that. But it's cool. It is kind of heavy. It's crazy, isn't it? What did it ring up as? It rang up, it was ringing up like uh, in the high 30s, which is on, on my machine, that's either like something, a lot of brass or, or, huh. or silver. But, Interesting. Uh, ring up. That and I'm picking up the utility poles really good. <laughs> Check this out, this is pretty cool fun. I'm digging through here and I see a key. And I pull this key up and it's not just a key, it's a key ring. And it looks like it has another key on it. And it's got a couple of medallions on it. I think it's probably a crucifix. Not a crucifix, but a, that is awesome looking. I don't know what those are, but I'll have to clean them up. I don't know if that could be silver or not. It's possible, David, this is silver. Go ask the expert. You wow, that's cool, Gary. You think that's silver? Gosh, yeah, that is silver. I mean, compared to these other things. Yeah, that's silver, man. Cool. Very cool. I'll have to show Miss Barbara. I don't she may be looking for those. Yeah, uh-oh, you know what? I just dropped one of the things. One of them just fell off right here. Oh wow! He just came off. Be careful. And look, it didn't break the ring, so it must That's have broke the chain. Cool. Uh, let's see what David's got. What you finding? Anything good? Something right here. Let's see what I keep finding nails back here. It's a balloon. I thought I dug up a piece of copper wire a while ago. But... Where is the thing? Right in there. Is that it? <laughs> it's a piece of copper wire. Probably it's used... a doomahickey off a of jigger. Yeah. What year? <laughs> this is one of those heart valves they're advertising on the TV. Lo lovely plumage. Yeah. You should be proud. I am very proud. I'm going to have that one mounted. <laughs> Along with the tuna can. That's exactly right. Right <laughs> next to it. Okay. We're going to try to look in the backyard. David's leading the way. There may be more promise, but there definitely is more shade. <laughs> Caution, area patrolled by a poodle. David, I might better let you lead the way. Uh-oh, one of them fancy gates. One of them fancy gizmos. Here we go. It's a nice little area. Yeah. Clearing spider webs for David. You mosquitoes, you stay up here. We're going back here. Here we go. This is kind of cool. All righty. Are you pumped? I am. Okay. <laughs> well, let's find some stuff. This is kind of neat. It's bi-level. 
Let's, you got, you got yeah. a little fireplace over here? Very cool. Wow. Nice. Let's see what treasures it will yield. Okay, David's got something here. Well, there it is. Looks like a, is it, what, can you tell what it is? It is a wheat, I believe. Oops. Yep. It's a wheat. It's wheatish. That's cool. That's two for you and none for me. You'll be, hey, this is it. This is the spot, <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the date on it. See if you can. Uh, if it okay, is, I can't see it. Off. I didn't uh, bring me close-up glasses. Penny for your thoughts. Penny for your thoughts. Ooh. Boy, the mosquitoes are awesome down here. It's grabbing it. Ooh. Let's see if you got your wheat. You're getting too deep. Sorry, dude. Stinking. That wheat was choked out by the Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What is it? Dude, it looks like the top of old toothpaste thing. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. And let that be a lesson to you kids. <laughs> Never leave your toothpaste outside. <laughs> You're, you're doing this. You're working really hard, Gary. Would you come dig this, please, James? Absolutely, sir. Do it, man. Hmm. It's a good thing the ground isn't hard. <laughs> so muddy back here. <laughs> well, we actually did have a nice section next to the house. There's, there's something. What is that? Is that it? I don't see anything. There Ka it is. You're on the board again, uh, Gary. Awesome. Non wheat. Oh, oh well. It's coinage, though, brother. It is coinage. Ching. Awesome find, sir. Something else for the Suns College Fund. That's right. <laughs> okay, David's got something cool. It's definitely silver, silverisk. You want some squirty? Let's see. As they say on one of the channels. 
Let me see if I can. Oh, it is. Beautiful. There's no sandy soil here, people, so I don't mind rubbing it. Oh, wow. Great shape, too, dude. That is nice. I wonder if we can see the date on it. Awesome. I don't have my glasses on. It'd be at the base down there. Mm -hmm. Squirt it with a little bit of the water at the base. All right. If you don't think it'll make too big a mess. There you go. It'll be on her. Let me get this thing off. It'll be at the base. If it's focusing, I can't see what it is. They were made up through 30, I think. Sure is light and smooth. Mm -hmm. Now this one's got the, uh, I think this is your type two, they call it, because they lowered the eagle somewhat. That, or is it the type, yeah, the type two, because they got rid of the three stars that were underneath it on the type one and lowered it so that Oh, well, that's beautiful, David. Dude, that's, I'm stoked. I found another one before, you know, but it had been hit by a lawnmower. I cannot see the date on that. I can't either. I might take a picture we'll of see it. it at the, we'll see it at the tailgate. There we go. Congrats. Thank you. That's what I listen to all the time. <laughs> Sending you a signal, dude. Hey now, hey. let's see what Davis found. Look here, Gary. Oh wow, it's an old pocket watch, Gary. Wow, well, let's see what time it is. Oh gosh, that's glass on that side. I gotta be very I thought careful. I saw some glass. It's got glass on both sides. Look yeah. at that. Oh wow. This side's just very fragile. Yeah, this thing's be, old. Watch dude. out on that. You may want to clean yeah, it up or something. Yeah, we're going to soak it. that and hit it with a toothbrush. Oh, that is cool. That is, I wonder what time it is when we get through <laughs> cleaning it off. I see an ace. Do you see I how see deep, deep that is, dude? That look is at way that. deep. That is way down there deep. Look at this. Is about, look, about a, I'm going to be honest. What is that? About an inch above the ground there? Yeah. So, this pocket watch was that deep. Man. And this is one that I went over earlier with mine on coin mode. And when I came back over it, I could, I think when I did the pinpoint on it, I could find something. But otherwise, it wasn't saying there was much there. But that is cool. The, the staminol is, is there. Look at that, man. That's deep. Man. I can't wait to see your cleanup photos on this to see if we can see a manufacturer or something on it. Wow, this thing is very old because this fragile is all get out. Oh, wow. I'm scared to that do anything. That may have been. Right. I don't know if that would have been Barbara's husband's or who. I don't know. That's that, cool. As deep as that is. Can't wait to see the cleanup on that. I wonder if the chain's with it. So let's let's uh, go back over the hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's coin. No. Oh, we had a great good. time. Okay, we're gonna do a wrap up. Uh, tailgate wrap up. We've had a hot hot day. It's still kind of hot here, but uh, Miss Barbara's allowed us to. To look for treasures in her yard, and we're gonna. And she's, she is asked to not be made a star, so she is back here within earshot. But me and Dave are gonna, as usual, go through what we found, and kind of show you the cool stuff and the weird stuff and everything in between. So, um, I'll start. Um, we've got a strange, strange dog toy here. I think we've been told, right? That's a dog toy. That was one of y'all's. Yeah, a ball, but it also has grass sticking out of it. Probably wasn't like that before. I got a piece of pipe where there was no shortage of uh, finding keys today. I found this key, 
Uh, I'll get back to this one here in just a second. Some scrap iron, some other odds and ends, almost look like little end caps. We found several toothpaste <laughs> caps, things like that. Uh, some old iron, even some glass as you're digging up stuff, you find old glass. Um, uh, coin it. Well, let me go and get this ring. I'm not sure what it is. On coins, I didn't find any wheats, but I found three uh, Lincolns. I found a nickel. None of this really old. A couple of dimes and a quarter. And here's my favorite thing I found today. It was apparently the former owner's, uh, I guess, like their key ring almost. Almost could have been a bracelet, but it has a couple of uh, maybe, I don't know if that's a St. Christopher, a couple of Catholic uh, charms on a chain with two keys, probably what a house key and then one you think for the house key at the, at the uh, uh, shop. Storm door. Okay. And then finally today I found Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was an old Christmas ornament, uh, probably. Maybe it was one of yours, I don't know. That kinda got it maybe it fell, it was buried a couple of inches right yeah, past the door. Yeah. So Maybe that was on one of your trees. Oh, it was. Top of it. It's, yeah. That's, that's an ornament. That sure is. So, anyway, that's cool. Actually, I found Jesus before today. But that's right. The ornament I found today. Okay, David, uh, what'd you find? You've got some goodies. He's got some really interesting Of course, stuff. you always find this. This was copper. It rang up really good. And we couldn't decide what exactly it was. You always find some trash. Uh, me and Gary took this down out of the way before somebody got hurt on it. It was sticking up out of your yard. A few screen. items. You always got to find a bottle cap. Uh, a little square thing. I think it's maybe the end on something. Maybe a protective end. Yeah. Of course, found this. Wasn't really sure what that is. Very heavy. Maybe part of a child's toy or something. Yeah. A wheel or something. It looks like a wheel. It does. Uh, maybe off a little that's old got train some writing on it. I didn't notice that before. But the, it says okay. Coca-Cola. Oh, it does? Well, that's neat. What is it? It's an old bottle top. Oh, it's an old bottle top. Yes, ma'am. Now, that's a very old bottle top. So, now Coca they're all made out of plastic. Yeah. Oh, it does so. say. There's the Coca-Cola in one right there. Yeah. And then another little cap you go through, too. And we found it. Uh, yeah, a little brass cap. Not sure what this came off of. Maybe some type of medicine or something like that at one time. And then um, found a lot of clad coins, quarters, and nickels, and pennies. Got a few wheats over here. That one's a wheat. I got to clean that one up. Uh, a little, I'm not sure what this was. It rang up, looked huh. like a maybe old thumbtack or something. Oh, that's here. interesting. And of course, uh, found a standing liberty. We can't really <laughs> see the date on it. We think it may be. We'll we'll see. Uh, we'll show you a cleaned up picture of that. And then a brass buckle. I don't know if it came off a shoe or an old belt or something. Uh, we found a watch. It's the first time I've ever found a whole watch. Yeah, that's we're going to have to clean that up. Old pocket watch. Beach. Can't wait to see what the time is when I clean yeah, it up. Yeah, see a few digits in there. And then, uh, uh, like Gary, I found me a key today. So. And here's something David pointed out. This key looks pretty much almost like a duplicate of this one. It sure does. Uh, it well, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if it's sized the same but, or done the same, but yeah. So there was no shortage of keys. And how they, were always, they were always losing keys, and so were we. Oh, we've had a great time. Yeah. Uh, thank well, you for letting us come out. out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, we're going to sign off, and uh, we'll uh, see you at the next dig. See you later.